Hi, I'm Tommy Zimmer here at Motor City Comic Con 2013 in Detroit for Creative Continuity. Excelsior! If you've never been to a convention, then you really don't understand what goes on here. The hard thing about Indiana Jones was the whole time I'd go begin my pace that day, in my head... Dun, 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 dun. Well, it's awesome to meet you, sir. I'm really a big fan. That's as it should be. Why do you, of all people, want to still stay with the Joker? Okay, I know my pudding's a little rough sometimes, but he loves me, really. Here at C2E2, we're going to be bringing you live coverage from artists, writers, and cosplayers. Hopefully some stars along the way. We hope you stay tuned to the rest of our coverage here at C2E2 2013. The Joker doesn't love you. I mean, haven't you, haven't you seen it? I don't believe you're our therapist, so I don't think you're qualified to give an opinion. Talking with artist Miko Swayan. How'd you get into comics? Uh, well, I, st I started like uh, buying comic books, and then I uh, I just fell in love with the artworks, and uh, it's uh, I started like drawing and copying other artists' uh, uh, artwork, and that's how I got in here. Is there any specific artist you look up to in terms of their style? Yeah, there's actually a lot. Uh, I started uh, looking artworks uh, from uh, Will Sportacio and some of the uh, older Filipino uh, artists like Pidondo and uh, Alex Nino and other stuff. And recently I've been, uh, my inspiration for my uh, work is uh, Lainey Liu, uh, Olivier Copiel, and there's a lot actually. Uh, it's what, uh, you, you seem to have a very similar style in some ways to Lee Bermejo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially that guy, yeah. Uh -huh. You have a cover for uh, Red Hood that you did, and it's really prevalent. I mean, you have a really urban vibe to it almost, really realistic. You can see that I'm uh, influenced by him. What was, uh, your first, uh, what was your first project you got work on? My first project was uh, for uh, Marvel. Uh, it's a... Uh, short story about uh, Magneto and uh, also that's actually that's actually just uh, I don't know five pages of uh, of that book so um, that, that how'd you uh, what other work have you done at Marvel oh uh, I did uh, I'm 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 uh, like well known to be on uh, Moon Knight and then some uh, some Thor uh, Werewolf by Night and and then some uh, uh, some covers for X Men and uh, what else Wolverine. Because I've known about your Moon Knight work a lot. It's amazing. What? Uh, how'd you uh, transition over to DC then with some work? Uh, well, uh, I was I was like exclusive for uh, Marvel for for three years and then when after that I'd like. You know, just uh, just 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 went out and look for other opportunities. Do you have any uh, more DC work coming up in the in the pipes? I'm uh, I'm like doing some covers for uh, Injustice. I'm doing more covers for that, and uh, probably uh, after that, I'm doing some things uh, I cannot uh, talk about yet. So. What other work do you have coming up? Uh, I'm uh, I just finished this uh, book uh, for. Valiant. It's called uh, Shadow Man uh, Number Zero. So it comes out like next week. So you should watch for that. And I'm doing some um, one shot for Marvel. That's it. <laughs> and some covers. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate it, Miko. This is Tommy Zimmer at C2E2 2013. The one thing that people search all of their lives for at these conventions is Jesus. Jesus, it's a pleasure. Now Jesus, tell me, what, ha what did you decide to do with your life after you died? What haven't I decided to do with my life? I've been in pretty much anything you can imagine. I'm everywhere. I can't stop doing things. Well, I thought you were dead. That too. When I said everywhere, I meant alive, dead, afterlife, everything. How do you do all that? Copy machine. I've, there's at least four of me running around right now. Wouldn't that be more of a cloning machine? 
Uh, more or less. That's really more of less than less of more. How does God feel about this? He wants more of an army. He always wanted a bigger family. Isn't that what the saints are supposed to be doing? Yes, but they're more adopted. I, you know, always felt bad about being an only child. Well, don't you think that, you know, kind of the community of Christians around the world are supposed to be doing that work? Well, yes, but some, some are, some aren't. I'm just get, getting the helping hand. All right, thank you, Jesus. 2013 C2E2 Chicago, Best O Productions Fanboy Buzz. Tommy Zimmer, right here, right now. Um, Self-published the book for a little while in the early 90s, and that caught the eye of Dark Horse because we were in the same town. And um, when they needed an editor and I had run out of money self-publishing, they offered me a job. I met an editor. We were friends. And uh, he said, you know, hey, you should pitch me some stuff. And I did, and it worked. Kind of feral, so his, his teeth are a little bit bigger and he's kind of like bulkier and, you know, droolier and whatnot. But he's, uh, he, he didn't go into full-on uh, man bat mode. You know, we, we figured out how to do an interesting take on him where he would actually, it'd be like less of a villain at first and then all of a sudden he becomes this horrible human being that we know. Uh, I did a Superman book with uh, Jeff Johns and Richard Donner. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, I featured Bizarro, which is probably the only Superman character I'm suited to draw <laughs> again. Uh, Kevin Smith was, before he was Kevin Smith, <laughs> you know, uh, was a fan of that Swamp Thing run. Yeah, I think in a way Mr. Gibbs is the most sensible man in the film, which is uh, really saying something, you know, of how crazy the other guys are. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, not growing up anytime soon. Um, yeah, of course I'd love to see more, but I'm, I'm happy to be a part of what uh, we did. about you yeah well uh jack napier and i uh we go back you know we go back do you know about bestow productions we're the area's leader in video production we provide quality award-winning and professional work in television commercial advertising video for the web video content for direct distribution, video on demand, and so much more. Give us a call at 570-486-4948 and see what Bestow can do for you. And now you know.